Hey guys, FHG here, Furry Hippo Gaming, back on the test server with some more AFK Arena. And today we are looking at the Bountiful Trials of Ullard. Ullard is the brand new light bearer hero that we're going to have dropping probably on Tuesday of this week. He will be out with later that night, the trials actually being up. So the arena trials for him, remember, he is a mage class, but really, really plays like a support. He has a lot of shields, he has, has a lot of immunities, and his nine of nine furniture is absolutely phenomenal when it looks at getting him completely built. So let's go ahead, we'll get into the arena of trials as we always do. Um, 60 elite stones here, so we'll get one free hero out of here, one rare hero, and then a couple more resources. So let's go ahead and get into the trial. I'm excited to see exactly how well he works. Mariel is right there, just ready to uh, go ahead and kick these trials off. And I think I'm gonna start, let's start in the bottom left here. So the combinations we're gonna use today um, are very, very unique. It actually has Yukio, which a lot of people don't use Yukio, and Torn. Torn is a hero that needs time to scale. Ultimately, he is very, very powerful but he does need time to scale, which I'm assuming in this dynamic, Ullard is really going to bring. Then we're going with Nara and Athalia. Athalia is gonna be the first, the, the farthest most target. So I wanna see how she actually does here. Bam, the shield right there is on Torn. So even though Athalia did her ultimate ability, the shield did go still go on Torn as when the shield was procced, he was the, the most forward hero essentially. But let's see if they can actually take this team comp down. Remember, Torn will negate healing. So they're actually just going to slowly burn down Izold, even though Izold himself is super, super powerful. Very slow burn because remember, he is going to negate healing, which 1.9 million. So damage we're not really looking at. A little bit of healing there, which again is by Torn's life leech. So it doesn't seem like it, it, it seems like with Ullard, it's just going to be the shielding aspect. That is very, very powerful. Again, with him being a mage, I would expect the damage, especially being completely maxed out, possibly being a little bit higher. This camp is going to be the exact same formation. So if you notice, Athalia hopped down Verk. Verk didn't have time to drop the traps, so it was pretty easy to um, get this one down. Yukio is a hero that not a lot of people use, but seems very, very solid here with his use. And of course, there is the ultimate ability of Ullard. Providing immunity to the team. That is right, not just to one hero, but to the entire team. So 1.3, even there, 753. Um, Nara doing a lot, Athelia doing a lot, which is what a lot of players have been saying, that it seems he's very, very good when it comes to the defensive aspect, but not so much the mage aspect. So let's try him in a different formation. This one, we're actually going to use um, Lucius, and we're going to use Cetrana. And then we're going to use Ullard in the middle, Cecilia on top, which I absolutely love the combination of Cecilia, and then Nakaruru in the bottom. So this one's going to allow for a pretty interesting dynamic. So the buff should go on Cecilia, which it is right here on the top. So between Cecilia and Nakaruru, they actually run all over this battle, which is kind of crazy. But boom, there's the ultimate ability, allowing for the immunity, plus we have the double shield there from Lucius, very, very cool to see. Just a matter of time before essentially we get this target down. But look at that, look at Mizoth. The damage he is doing, boom, continues to drain, almost completely dead to that point. And he is very, very tough to kill. A lot of players do not build Mizoth, but look at the absolute survivability that that tank has. He is a monster. So here, 2.6, 2. or 2.04 million. So again, uh, Cecilia doing the most damage out of that one. So again, the one up here, we're going to use the exact same formation that we used in the last battle, which is Lucius with Satrana, Cecilia up there to take out um, the, the Wilder. And then boom, there's our shield. So this is an interesting combination because it's got double shields. We have Lucius doing the shields. We have... Um, Ular doing the shield, so, so kind of a tough combination to deal with. But if you look in the very top, the, it seems really, really strong that both Cecilia and Nakaruba are just locking down the hero in the very, very top. And it looks like we're not going to win this one. The double alts there just took out both targets. 
Cecilia is very, very strong, and Lucius can't do nothing to Ullard because, again, that immunity and that shielding aspect that he has doesn't do enough damage to get through there. Boom, got this one done as well. Look at that, 3.78. I've also noticed, though, that when Ullard, Ullard does, like, the focus, um, the, the focus can be interrupted, and the focus does take a little bit of time to cast. So I feel that honestly takes away from the damage that he's doing. I think it significantly impacts the damage that he's doing because he's essentially just focused on something else. So this one we're going with Mizoth and then Warwick. Warwick's going to provide the debuffs. Titus with the pushback. Belinda for damage and then Ullard. Even though he's a mage, not really doing the, the things that a mage does. Seems more like a Lorzen mage, which is more of a support. Look at Mizoth again with that um, crowd control. I, I so want to build Mizoth. Look at it on Tassie. Tassie just sits there and drains the hit points away. Very, very cool. Me Mizoth, I need to build. He's such a very cool unit. 1.3 million, even 300k there from Ullard. Um, and 1.6 from Belinda. Remember, Belinda is a true mage. Not only buffs the team, but she does a significant amount of damage. And then the final arena guardian that we have on this side is going to be the exact same team. So Mizoth is going to start off just absolutely devouring Brutus over there. Puts on his bib, does his crowd control aspect, which is very, very cool. And then does it to Solus in the back as well. And the combination of Mizoth and Ullard is really strong, especially with the immunity effects. Look at it just... Literally, the target doesn't do anything but sit there and just drain hit points. Just absolutely losing hit points there. So just like we've seen with Respen, um, very, very easy arena of trials. We only used three different formations for six different battles. So it was very quick to get through there. Boom, there is our final chest, which will give us our um, 60 elite stones. So there he is, guys. That is the Trials of Ullard. Very, very cool hero. Again, doesn't seem like he's going to do much in the way of damage. Seems like it's going to be a lot to do with survivability and really carrying the team more as a support class than as a mage. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you guys have tested out Ullard or if you got him on the test server, he will be live usually on Tuesday. So it won't be too long and we'll actually see him come up on the live server so we can pick him up if you want to build him. So again, guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.